1999 P. Die Era Connecticut Quarter Dollar, Value in History, the 1999 P. Connecticut Quarter, part of the U.S. Mint's ambitious 50-state quarters program, holds a unique place in numismatics due to its history, symbolism, and occasional die errors. While the standard quarters in the series represent significant historical and cultural moments, coins with errors draw particular attention from collectors, often commanding higher prices. In this article, we explore the value and history of the 1999 P. Connecticut quarter dollar, with a focus on die errors, the coin's design, and the broader context of its release. The 50-State Quarters Program and the Connecticut Quarter The 50-State Quarters Program was launched in 1999 by the United States Mint, producing commemorative quarters that would highlight each of the 50 states. The program was designed to roll out five quarters annually, with each coin representing a different state in the order they were admitted to the Union. It was the largest numismatic initiative in the United States, and it played a significant role in rejuvenating public interest in coin collecting. The Connecticut Quarter was the last coin issued in 1999, concluding the first year of this extensive program. The 1999 P. Connecticut Quarter was minted at the Philadelphia Mint, where the P. Mint Mark designates its place of origin. Each quarter in the 50-state quarters program was designed to reflect the state's culture and history, and Connecticut's quarter was no exception. Die errors on the 1999 P. Connecticut Quarter Die errors occur during the minting process when there is an issue with the die used to strike the coin, leading to variations in the final product. These errors can range from minor imperfections to dramatic differences, and their rarity often increases the coin's value. Some of the most notable types of die errors that have been observed on the 1999 P. Connecticut Quarter include Die cracks. These occur when the die used to strike the coins develops cracks due to repeated use or wear. When the die strikes the planchet, the blank piece of metal that becomes the coin, the cracks result in raised lines or patterns on the coin's surface. On the 1999 P. Connecticut Quarter, die cracks have been observed on both the obverse and reverse sides, often near the edge of the coin or along the branches of the charter oak. Cuds. A cut error occurs when a portion of the die breaks off, leaving an unstruck area on the coin, often appearing as a raised, blob-like shape on the surface. This error is valued by collectors because it dramatically alters the appearance of the coin. Some 1999 P. Connecticut quarters exhibit cut errors, particularly along the rim or near the intricate oak tree design. Off-center strikes. These errors occur when the coin is not properly aligned in the press, resulting in a design that is shifted off-center. Depending on the severity of the off-center strike, this type of error can make a coin significantly more valuable. Some Connecticut quarters have been found with slight to moderate off-center strikes, which appeal to error coin collectors. Clipped planchet. A clipped planchet error happens when the blank metal disc, planchet, that is fed into the coining press is improperly cut, resulting in a coin with a missing or clipped section. This can range from a small nibble on the edge to a more pronounced crescent-shaped clip. On the 1999 P. Connecticut Quarter, clipped planchets are relatively rare but highly sought after by error enthusiasts. Double die error. A double die error occurs when the die used to strike the coin has a misalignment in its design, resulting in the appearance of doubled elements on the final coin. These errors are especially popular among collectors due to their distinct appearance. Though double die errors are more commonly associated with Lincoln Sense, some 1999 P. Connecticut quarters have exhibited doubling, particularly on the inscriptions or the intricate branches of the Charter Oak. Strike through errors. This type of error occurs when foreign material, such as grease or debris, gets between the die and the planchet during the minting process. This results in a portion of the design being obscured or missing. Strike through errors on the 1999 P. Connecticut quarter have been observed, particularly affecting the details on the reverse side street design. Value of the 1999 P. Connecticut quarter with die errors. The value of a 1999 P. Connecticut quarter with a die error depends on the type and severity of the error, as well as the coin's condition. Error coins are generally categorized by their level of rarity, demand, and the extent of the error. Here is an overview of how different die errors on the Connecticut quarter can affect its value. Common errors, die cracks and minor strikethrough errors are relatively common and may only add a small premium to the coin's value, particularly if the coin is in circulated condition. Coins with these minor errors might be worth $500 to $2,000 depending on the extent of the error and the overall condition of the coin. More significant errors, off-center strikes, clipped planchets, and moderate die cracks can increase the value of the coin, especially if they are more pronounced. 
Coins with off-center strikes or noticeable die cracks may sell for $500 to $2,500 or more in uncirculated condition, depending on the specific characteristics of the error. Major errors, double die errors, large cuts, and severe off-center strikes are considered major errors and can dramatically increase the value of the 1999 P. Connecticut quarter. Coins with these significant errors may be worth anywhere from $100 to several $500, depending on the rarity and condition of the error. In exceptional cases, such coins can fetch prices in the high hundreds or even over $10,000 at auction. Grading and condition, as with any collectible coin, the condition of the quarter plays a crucial role in its value. Coins are graded on the Sheldon scale, which ranges from poor, P1, to mint state, MS70. A higher grade means a more pristine coin, with no visible wear or damage. Uncirculated coins with a die error will generally be worth more than circulated ones. A 1999 P. Connecticut quarter in MS 65 or higher condition with a major error can command a premium price. The design of the Connecticut quarter, the reverse side of the Connecticut quarter is adorned with the image of the Charter Oak, a massive, centuries-old tree that holds symbolic significance in the state's history. The Charter Oak became famous during the late 17th century when, in 1687, Connecticut colonists reportedly hid their royal charter within its hollow trunk to prevent its confiscation by the British-appointed governor, Sir Edmund Andrus. This event, which showcased the colonists' resistance to centralized control, is regarded as a pivotal moment in Connecticut's quest for self-governance. The Charter Oak was chosen as the emblem of the Connecticut Quarter, surrounded by the inscriptions, Connecticut, the Charter Oak, 1788, the year Connecticut was admitted to the Union, and, 1999. The obverse of the coin features the familiar bust of George Washington, which had been a standard feature of the quarter since 1932, along with the inscriptions, United States of America, Liberty, In God We Trust, and the denomination, Quarter Dollar. Collecting the 1999 P. Connecticut Quarter, for collectors, the 1999 P. Connecticut Quarter offers several appealing qualities. Its connection to the 50 State Quarters program makes it a desirable addition to any State Quarter collection, and the presence of die errors adds an additional layer of intrigue for error coin enthusiasts. Given the variety of possible errors on this coin, collectors often seek out different examples to showcase the range of minting anomalies that can occur. Those who wish to collect error coins like the 1999 P. Connecticut Quarter often focus on acquiring coins in the best possible condition. As error coins are typically found in circulation, it is not uncommon for them to have some wear, but uncirculated examples with clear, pronounced errors are more valuable and sought after. Coin grading services like PCGS, Professional Coin Grading Service, and NGC, Numismatic Guarantee Corporation, can provide official grades and certifications for error coins, which can help increase their value in the market. Conclusion, the 1999 P. Connecticut Quarter Dollar, with its iconic Charter Oak design in connection to the 50 State Quarters Program, is a cherished piece of American numismatic history. While the standard version of the coin is relatively common, those with die errors can be significantly more valuable, depending on the nature and severity of the error. Collectors and enthusiasts continue to seek out error coins like the 1999 P. Connecticut Quarter, drawn by the combination of historical significance, artistic design, and the allure of minting anomalies. Whether you are a seasoned coin collector or a novice looking to learn more about error coins, the 1999 P. Connecticut Quarter is a fascinating example of how small variations in the minting process can result in unique and valuable collectibles.